Welcome guys to this awesome Laravel series. Uh, in this series, I'm going to take you from a beginner to an intermediate. I'm going to show you various Laravel tricks, uh, how you can actually work with Laravel. If you're new to Laravel, you need to know a bit about PHP programming. Uh, Laravel is actually a PHP framework, so you have to know uh, about PHP programming. So if you don't know anything about PHP, I have a lot of videos on PHP. I'm going to leave the links in the description so that you can check it out. I have a full series about more than 40 videos in the series about PHP. So you can check it out. And why should you use Laravel? Why should you migrate from using your native PHP from developing your core PHP to using php framework now i'm going to show you a project i did now in this project i had to set all this manually i had to write the class do a whole lot of things uh i had to waste my time to do all this but with laravel i can just do all of this with no stress and that is actually the beauty of this you can see the uh tons of code i wrote just to uh, make sure everything works and um, with Laravel you don't need to do all this Laravel actually makes everything easier for you so in this video we'll be looking at Laravel how to install Laravel and let's just go over on how to install Laravel now the first thing you need to have installed is you need to have your ZAMPs uh, if you don't know how to install ZAMPs just go over to Apache Friends slash download and click on the version you want to download uh, i will advise you to download the version 7.4 so download that and go over to your composer go over to composer and actually download composer.txt uh, just download that and install it and this will give you uh this will give you the flexibility on installing php packages so Kapusa is uh, like a, an installer. It helps you install packages. So um, that's all you need to do. Install Kapusa and install Kapusa and go over to your command line to actually make sure you install that. Just type Kapusa, and this will actually bring it out so if you have composer installed successfully you're going to see something like this when you try to run it so what we need to do is we need to uh, go over to our file so what we need to do right here you can click on documentation on how to install laravel to your local system so let's go over to installation and right here you can see different ways which you can install Laravel but the easiest way is to have a Laravel installer installed on your system and you can just scaffold your project from there and another way is to just use your command line and install it directly so I'm going to show you how to install it so this is the Laravel installer I have this already on my system but for the sake of you guys that doesn't have it, I'm going to use the command line, which is uh, somewhere here. Let me try and locate that. Yeah. So install it via Composer. Just go over right here, Composer install. So I'm just going to copy this code. And I'm going to go over to uh, where I actually want to install the Laravel to. I'm just going to to go over to the directory and right here uh, let's go over to lessons and right here I'm going to create a new folder for Laravel so within this folder this is where I want to install the uh, Laravel package so I'm going to open this in my command line I'm using share now and right here you can just uh, copy this code copy this code right here and actually run this so this is uh, so we've created 
this uh, folder right here, example app, and we're just going to wait for that to actually install everything. So this could take a while, so I'll get back to you guys. Now the installation is complete. You can just go on and type code full stop and this will open uh, your current directory into the virtual studio code. So let's just do that. And you can see and you can see we have the uh, folder right here. But let's just enter into that folder and right here we just go and say example uh let's see the name example app and let's just do that again and this we open uh the folder in our virtual studio code let's just close the initial one we opened earlier yeah, so we have this and right here let's just run uh let's just start the server so we can see. So to do that it's actually easy. It's actually easy. So let's just close this and yeah. So all we just need to do is run a simple command and this will be php artisan sub. This is artisan. Artisan, yeah. So yes. So <clears throat> we have the uh, server started, and we can go over to our local host eight thousand right here. Yeah. So this is it. This uh, the welcome page this shows that you've successfully installed laravel 8.6 to your system and uh, this is actually a good way to actually get started with creating your laravel project so i'll see you in the next video where we're going to start writing some codes and actually looking at all these components in our laravel